Work 2.0 is a, a, a term that's begun to start being used recently around the challenges that uh, COVID has created. Uh, another way uh, of trying to think of this though is um, I heard somebody describe uh, COVID as the biggest shift to working patterns in a generation. Uh, that's the level of change that they feel is, is likely to occur, not just in the short term, because we've all seen the great working from home experiment take place, but in this world of hybrid and flexible, um, Work 2.0 is the rethinking of how we work. Um, and if we embrace that under the banner of flexible or hybrid working, then it means having the ability to work from anywhere at any time. Uh, and therefore we're now thinking about synchronous and asynchronous working. Uh, so just to define that, synchronous working is we're gonna have a meeting at two o'clock on Tuesday. Asynchronous is I'm gonna work at two o'clock in the morning because actually I'm on the other side of the world uh, and that's two o'clock in the afternoon for me um, and still have the ability to continue working on the same topic or the same content. Um, what we've definitely seen throughout COVID though is that the good news is that the majority of organizations have a baseline upon which they can work from. So the baseline is generally I can share files uh, either uh, over email, but most of the time now through cloud storage solutions that allow people to get access to data and access to my content and often collaborate on that document uh, at any time of day. So that's great. We've created a baseline around data. Um, we've also got another baseline, which is usually around communication. Um, and the technology companies call these tools unified communication because they have instant messaging and file sharing and video conferencing and audio conferencing tools. And again, most organizations have that now and that's another baseline. The question now is how does this, this concept of work 2.0 become something that people can iterate upon with those baselines in place.